Hello everyone, I'm Paul Micklewire Grimes. Ryan Murphy has covered everything in his television career, from plastic surgery to glee clubs to horror stories and O.J. Simpson. His latest series is aptly titled Hollywood. It's now streaming on Netflix, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. The bright lights and glamour of Hollywood can be attractive to many hoping to get their big break. It's not nearly as easy as just showing up at the studio gates hoping to be an extra. For Jack Costello, played by David Cornswet, he must prove that he's actually talented and not just a pretty face. His friend Archie knows he will have an uphill battle given that he's a young, black screenwriter. For Rock Hudson, it comes down to changing his name and hiding his homosexuality. Agents, directors, and studio heads all have their own visions about what sells in Hollywood and what should be kept under the covers. Hollywood boasts a massive cast from Jake Picking, Jeremy Pope, and Darren Criss to Patti Lapone, Dylan McDermott, Jim Parsons, and Joe Mantello. Hollywood is the latest collaboration between Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan, who brought us Glee, Scream Queens, and The Politician. It's Murphy's newest project after signing a massive deal with Netflix, which means pushing the boundaries on sex, nudity, and profanity in ways that he couldn't with, shows that, with his shows that aired on FX. Murphy and Brennan are taking a page out of the Quentin Tarantino playbook with their attempt at revisionist history in order to right some wrongs. Their attempt with Hollywood is to give minorities in the Hollywood who face setbacks solely based on race and sexuality a chance to have their rightful careers in stardom and potentially live their true selves without fear. Now, the tricky part of this concept is that you have to trust that the audience knows the original history if you want to take liberties on it. Murphy mixes in fictional characters like Jack Costello and studio head Ace Amberg, played by Rob Reiner, um, with other players from the golden age of Hollywood like Rock Hudson, Vivian Lee, and talent agent Henry Wilson. There are many storylines going on throughout Hollywood, and if you don't know this era, it may be confusing knowing what's real and what isn't. Now, it takes some time for Hollywood to start to settle into place. It feels a little too artificial and glossy for that era. It's missing the grit and the dirty undertones. The first two episodes felt very surface level as we watch hot guys turning tricks thanks to Dylan McDermott's character. Episode three starts to introduce some depth with these characters thanks to a big party at George Cukor's house. There we start to see vulnerabilities and higher stakes that will hopefully play out in future episodes. It's gonna need a lot more depth in upcoming episodes in order for Murphy and company to earn that emotional punch that these real life counterparts deserve. In terms of the ensemble, Jake Picking uh, stands out as Rock Hudson, who brings that scared, nervous hesitation to the heartthrob that we remember. Here's a really strong scene in episode three with Joe Mantello. Mantello is a well-known Broadway actor and director and brings some needed weight to Hollywood as a closeted studio executive. Jeremy Pope should also be acknowledged as, a, as budding screenwriter Archie. Ryan Murphy has tackled uh, similar LGBTQ themes and Hollywood life better in series like Pose and Feud, Betty and Joan. I've watched three of the seven episodes of Hollywood, and there's promise here for Murphy to rein in this story, and I actually think that we could see future seasons of Hollywood, as there are plenty of hidden stories um, to tell. Hopefully, this will get viewers to research the lives and careers of Rock Hudson, Anime Wong, and many of the others that are profiled in Hollywood. I'm giving Hollywood three out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have reviews of other streaming series, as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews and to find out how you can help your local uh, movie theater right now as they remain closed. Thank you so much for watching my review of Hollywood. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.